every time we went to a different country or visited for very long, I painted watercolors of these places. And they're, they're very romantic watercolors. <laughs> they're, um, uh, in contrast to this first book, they really are more um, expressions of my affection for the region. Uh, and and um, this book I thought was necessary to write because the paintings which hang in our living room in the Palisades have been, uh, have been moved back and forth a lot. They, were, they each have a story. And we, uh, as you in Malibu, are always in danger of fires, right? Pepperdine, you got it last time, didn't you? Anyway, we, uh, we got burned in 78, and again, we were threatened two more times. I, uh, these paintings were actually painted in Lebanon sometimes in the, during the war years. They were all moved to Cairo when I moved to Cairo to live. And so they've been back and forth all over the place. So I thought, well, each painting has a story. They have a great meaning for me because I remember every place I painted. But um, uh, so I decided to write another book and put them in the book. And that's what this one is all about. But just to give you an example, this as a, a personal memory, the cover of this book is um, is a monastery uh, in the uh, Nile Valley. If any of you know Egypt, it's sort of halfway down between Cairo and Luxor. And we, were, my son and I, were sailing in a, an Egyptian sailboat, a felucca, there on. It was Good Friday, and we were sailing along with some friends. And um, suddenly we saw this charming little village. It's called Der, Der el Adra, the, one of the many places where Mary and Joseph were said to have stopped on their, on their journey into Egypt along the Nile. And that's just a, an example of the wonderful stories that I remember from each of these places. And um, the organization of the book kind of goes uh, as according to the places that I uh, first painted, and that was that was uh, Lebanon, and I found a nice little passage from each one, uh, for each chapter, uh, to inscribe at the top, and this one was was from Psalms. Lots of biblical references to Lebanon. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit its fruit flourish like Lebanon. And I, f I find, found this fit my romantic version of Lebanon. <laughs>